Hello, hello, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Anahita TV. <laughs> um, please like and subscribe so other people can see me in the algorithm. Anyway, let's get to it. Today, I'm going to talk about why, no, how to protect yourself as an empath. We talked about why you need to protect yourself. Today, we're going to talk about how you need to protect yourself if you're an empath. And my viewers are mostly empaths, people who are helping others, who are waking up to their true nature. And, uh, and if you need help, here it is. This is where you get that help. Um, number one, there's several ways you can protect yourself. Number one is strengthen your sense of self. What do I mean by that? To strengthen your sense of self, it's basically the same as um, honing your self-worth, honing, you know, getting in touch with your ability to love yourself. And how can you do that? For me, I'll, I'll tell you how I do it for myself. And maybe this is, this will be a great example so that you can in incorporate it into your life. For me, I've always been a gym rat or I've always exercised. The reason being is because I feel like I am worth it. My health is my wealth so if i am healthy i'm able to be the best version of myself and then i can uh, be productive and i can uh, make a better living or be there better better for my daughter and for my family my you know my loved ones and as well as for myself so number one the thing that i never give up throughout my whole life is exercise even if I can't make it to the gym, sometimes I'll just go in and use the jacuzzi and use the sauna. So that's my uh, my treat. You know, it, it's something that I give to myself. I also meditate. That's another way for you guys um, to get more of your sense of self and who you really are. Once you spend time by yourself with yourself, you are gonna experience those uncomfortable silences and what I need you to do is to allow those to happen what we do usually to self-sabotage is when we are in that uncomfortable silence what we do is eat drink alcohol you know um, call and friends or, or loved ones or people that we know and gossip these are things that actually keep you away from who you truly are they push you away and sabotage the work and the momentum you've actually created thus far. So I highly recommend uh, when you give up something, find something more positive to replace it with. Psychologists believe that, you know, a habit is only, you can only get rid of a bad habit when you replace it with a better habit. When you get rid of a habit, there is, it's going to, you're going to have that uneasy feeling of un that uncomfortable, uneasy feeling. And usually what that does, it pushes you back into your old self with repeating the things you were trying to give up to begin with. So um, what you need to do would be if you're an eater, like for me, food is... <laughs> <laughs> food is is the the habit that I have if if I'm sitting and I'm uncomfortable I just go to the fridge check it out and I'm like I'm not hungry you know uh, how do I um, get rid of that angst so that's something you need to work through and part of my coaching is that I help you figure that out um, uh, for now I'll leave you with meditation and uh, good habits, maybe going for a walk or um, figuring out your bills. <laughs> I know it sounds horrific, you know, paperwork. Actually, when you get into it, it's a positive way of forgetting what you were trying to do to self-sabotage. Number two way of being able to protect your energy is through visualization. That's a beautiful way of protecting your energy and it's actually very very easy so what I do with this uh, there is a uh, technique that I do I close my eyes it's something that I learned from my Reiki master actually I close my eyes every morning and every evening and I picture a white 
bright light. Let's do it together, you guys. Now that you're joining me, I hope you're not driving. If if you're not, if you're driving, pull us pull to the side. If not, if you're at home, let's do this together. All right. Close your eyes. Imagine a bright white light from the middle of the sky coming in, pouring in like a waterfall right into your crown chakra. And this is light energy. As it hits your crown chakra, it cleanses it. It clears it of any tension, any negativity that may be going on. And it carries itself through to your brain all the way down to your neck, all the way through your vertebra, your arms, your chest, your stomach, all the way down to your hips, all the way through your thighs, your knees, your calves, all the way down to your feet. And through your feet, you're going to imagine roots as if you were a tree, roots growing. And these are roots of light growing and penetrating the earth, going all the way down to the middle of the earth. And you are cleansed. Once it hits the middle of the earth, you are cleansed. Now the light rises, comes all the way up. Through your feet, the light is rising, moving through your feet, all the way to your calves, your knees, and then you have an explosion of light filling up your room, expanding to the entire house or apartment, wherever you're at, expanding through your city expanding all the way through your state, your country, reaching other countries where you want to send love and all the way back to you. Once you have it, you put yourself in a bubble of love. It could be pink, it could be white, it could be any color you imagine. And then you seal yourself in and you say only love in, only love out. This is the way most Reiki healers protect themselves. And it's a wonderful way that you can choose as a, as an empath or a healer or a coach, you can use this technique to protect yourself, protect your energy and only allow love to come in and love to generate from your heart. All right. I hope that felt great. All right, we're ready for number three. Number three is grounding or being in nature. By grounding, I mean if you have a patch of green in your backyard, front yard, or even at the park, it's great to take off your shoes and walk barefoot. Even at the beach, you know, one of the things I love to do is when I'm not feeling well, I uh, go to the beach. Uh, if you live near a beach, I am in the Los Angeles area, so I have access to uh, several beaches, which makes me feel very lucky and I'm able to go and ground myself. The other one is um, being in nature, being in the woods. You know, when you are in nature, it's not just the connection. It's actually more than that. It's all your senses are at work. You're walking. You're listening to nature, to the different sounds. You're seeing beauty. Actually smelling it is going to make you very healthy. It's going to add to your immune system. Um, the other day, actually a couple of days ago, I went on a bike ride. It was a friendly bike ride through Newport Beach. We even went through uh, UC. Irvine and all through the different neighborhoods. It was a big group with 60 of us and no, nobody was a big time professional. No, you know, fancy gear. We all just brought out our bikes and helmets and went for a beautiful ride. And it was amazing. And it was my first time. It was very, very long. It was 20 miles. But you know what? What kept me going was this idea. 
the idea that I am in nature and when I whenever I was going up a hill and I, my legs were burning and I was in pain I would focus on the sense and I was say, thinking to myself I am observing and receiving all of this love all this nourishment from nature um, that's the way as an empath we think and I believe you probably think very similarly um, so use that to your advantage whenever you're in nature it's not just seeing it being there it's all of your senses even um, your sixth sense your ability to connect with nature this is why you're an empath the reason you're an empath is because of your sixth sense you are able to connect beyond the average person to you connect to universal energy beyond the not beyond uh what na nature basically beyond the public i should say beyond the majority of the public so you are awakened and the reason you are here is to heal yourself because when you are healed since you have a connection to your family and friends they then get healed through your healing so it's not just for you when we were incarnated we made a vow we made a vow to come into this universe to heal ourselves and we became the martyr it i've experienced this and i'm sure you have too and the reason i know you are empaths is that you have the reason that you should know you're an empath also is that you have been through so much so much pain so much giving so much love and and you still see the abundance in the universe and you see yourself as an integral part of this universe and so you owe it to yourself you owe it to your loved ones to carry through it is a big burden it is i'm i'm sure of it but what you need to do is have the healthy habits have great meditation practice or exercise or whatever makes you happy or even if it's just going out for coffee with friends whatever makes you happy and in the alpha state because that's where you can create that's when you can create when you're mentally in the alpha states and how do we put ourselves in the alpha states again with everything i've listed so far strengthening your sense of self knowing who you are and why you are here that is so important it's important that you know why you were created and number two would be to visualize and um, visualize and what we did the the practice of visualizing putting yourself in a bubble of love and uh, abundance and healing and picture yourself every time you're in that bubble you are healing and you're extending your you're extending your healing energy to everyone that you love and the people around you number three was um, grounding yourself and being in nature that's very very important as well these are very simple methods but they will go a long way when you are grounding yourself you are connecting with nature and when you are connected with nature you are at your best you are basically naked and whole and so connected to the essence of God or spirit or whatever you believe in you are part of this universe I hope you felt that when I said that I felt this energetic rush going through my spine and I wanted to take a moment of silence and hope that you experienced it too thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Anahita TV I hope this was helpful if you have any questions concerns there are so many other ways you can um, you can protect yourself and protect your energy. If you have questions, please don't hesitate. Reach out. I will leave my email below if you want to call me or connect with me for a discovery call. You may do so. I hope that that was helpful and I hope you have a very blessed day.
Thank you so much.